Hi Pisces, welcome to your March, how they truly feel. Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're looking at how they're truly feeling, their next possible moves and what they want to say to you, what they would really want to say to you if they could, maybe if they're not love messages so we'll see what we have here all right pisces welcome in hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time happy birthday pisces sun moon rising venus male or female general collective reading please only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned and you definitely can flip it switch it i guess if it makes sense to at any time cross watchers as well all right with this deck pisces i'm gonna get some energy see what's going on here and then we'll jump into the tarot. All right, let's see. We have spiritual maturity. Maybe somebody had some growing up to do here. Self-respect. So maybe they weren't giving you the respect you deserved. And you realize, you know, I have to respect myself first by, you know, kind of maybe setting some healthy boundaries. Creativity. You might have been creating something with this person. Um, or maybe you have created something with them. Maybe you run a business together. Um, maybe it's a child. Maybe it's some sort of project or something that you've been working on. And we have reparenting yourself. So it could be that either you or them um, had parental issues and maybe wasn't getting the kind of... It could be them. You know, maybe they had uh, parental issues and they were not getting... They were not giving you the kind of respect you deserved or you felt like... You know, I'm disrespecting myself because I'm allowing this person to either treat me this way or whatever the case may be. I have to self-respect myself <laughs> and set some healthy boundaries here. But we do see someone here is growing up. We do have spiritual maturity as well. So they could definitely be maturing on many levels here. In this creativity, I just feel like, I mean, we do have a couple here. So maybe you guys created, like I said, something together. So maybe it was a, a business, a project um or something like that or maybe you, i heard co-founded something um could be local could be online it could be whatever the case may be i mean it doesn't have to be or some maybe you created a child together but or maybe even just a home together maybe you were living together or whatever the case may be as well so obviously you're wondering how they're feeling i mean some of you could be in separation um or maybe it's just a really tough time between the two of you communication isn't great and you're not really talking to each other the way you know you really should be. So you'll have to only know your new you know your situation. So you have to take it out resonates for you. If you are new here, I do have a no contact um, love reading already on the channel right now. As I'm recording this, full moon and Virgo readings are going out. But if you are new, you can check down below in the description box. I have a list of all the readings I do here, mostly while well, they are all love readings, like eight different love readings a month. So let's get, um, so what I want to ask here, Pisces, is this, um, was it this person not giving you the kind of respect you deserve? So you decided to set some healthy boundaries there. So let's see if we get a yes. Justice. Yeah, that would be a yes. Let's see, Justice, Four of Pentacles. So somebody is holding back while someone is giving. Eight of Wands. There's communication or some sort of action was being taken. Death. So you could have um, ended it with this person. And the King of Swords in reverse. So this could have been somebody here who, maybe they were a liar, I don't know, or a cheater, I'm not sure. Obviously, if something shows up here you're not interested in because... I think most people watching this want to know how they're truly feeling, whatever the situation may be, what's our next move going to be, what are their love messages, or what do they want to say. So mostly I'm doing this for the people that want to know, you know, about their person and maybe there's a chance this is going to come back together. But again, if something shows up and you're like, I don't want that, you know, I don't know why you're watching and it may not be a reading, but let's see. So the King of Swords is someone who is not truthful and maybe very disrespectful as well. So there definitely was some sort of ending here. Someone took action to end this because of someone's disrespectfulness with that King of Swords in reverse. So definitely for a pentacle, someone's holding back while somebody else was giving. Justice does speak of soul contracts, though, and it is upright. And that is about truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve. 
things aren't meant to be. That's my Universal Law and Order card. So we do have uh, Libra, Scorpio, and Gemini here. Could be just signs and charts or two of pentacles. So there's been a lot of up and down energy here, I think, between you and this person. Six of swords. So somebody could be at a distance. Definitely feeling the separation here with the five of pentacles. Six of wands. Ace of swords. So somebody could be getting ready to come back here with the six of wands. is success, victory, but it's coming in with an offer on the wand. And here's the sword of truth here. So... That could be big communication, conversation, truth, clarity as well. That can be a successful new beginning. So let's see, we have here, uh, no other signs showed up yet. So now I want to see here. So what are they planning? So let's take a look at that. So I did see that six of wands and I kind of feel like somebody is planning to come in here, um, return or come in here or something. All right, so what else do we need to know? What is this person? Are they planning anything at this moment? For Pisces. Page of Swords, so there's a the communication. It could be checking out your social media, seeing what you're up to. Three of Cups in reverse. I don't think there's any third parties involved here. I think this is beyond, because that's what usually, they're not happy, that is for sure. Um, because you're not together, you're not happy, uh, well, you're not celebrating. That's usually the happy celebration, dating corner, getting to know. I don't really take that as a third party card, but it is a three. So I'm going to say, I don't think there's like any physical people like third party involvement. Um, let's see, magician. So they definitely want to manifest something new here. High priestess. So there's that spiritual maturity. So maybe this person has gone on some sort of spiritual awakening here. Chariot. Definitely could be. And it could happen very, very quickly for them. Um, with the chariot energy here. And again, it could be about traveling or distance. We did see that six of swords. So if they were at a distance, the chariot, this could be like coming back. And right now they feel like they have all the tools, resources to start this again. You know, they have more knowledge. They have more faith, spirituality. Um, passion, love, ambition to come in here and maybe have some truth and clarity here with the Page of Swords. Definitely there's been no communication as well. So let's see, we have Cancer, Pisces, that's you, Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius. They're, you're right in the middle here, so they're definitely thinking of, they want to come in and move things forward with you. Two of Swords. So there, again, there was a lot of, getting a lot of back and forth, indecisive energy, Seven of Pentacles, things have been stagnant, slow, maybe separation for quite a while. They want this to change with that Seven of Pentacles in reverse. King of Cups ready to come in, reveal their uh, true heart to you. Yeah, the, the wounded warriors, so I definitely feel like they've had issues maybe stemming back from childhood here. Maybe, you know, kind of looking through, I don't know, a telescope or something here. So maybe they're taking a long, deep look at that as well. Knight of Swords, so they could have taken action very quickly here. You know, maybe they went and got help, therapy. You know, for once, more stable grounded energy. Knight of Pentacles, so they're ready to take quick action here because the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is like the Knight of Swords upright. So we have Taurus, Aquarius, they're ready to come in quickly here. Pisces, that's you again. All right, so what are they planning? What else are they planning? So they're planning communication and wanting to... Um, start this again with you. So how are they going to do this for Pisces? How are they going to do this? What are they planning? How are they planning to do this? Let's see. Knight of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. The Hangman. There's you again, uh, Pisces. And the Ace of Cups. Huh. Let's see. I think they took a long, hard, deep here and realized, you know, the Queen of Cups reversed, Knight of Cups reversed. <sighs> Definitely things are stagnant right now. There's You're not together in a loving relationship because those are in reverse. And they're realizing, I think, the error of their ways here because they didn't come forward with all their love and emotions and give to you 100% like you did to them. And you set those 
healthy boundaries by withdrawing yourself, your love from them, which put them in this hangman position, which is also your energy. And now they have overpouring uh, love and emotions here. So they're thinking long and hard about this, ready to take action to bring in. I think they're going to overflow, over, <laughs> overshower you with love here somehow. So if they weren't like loving, affectionate, I'm not saying they weren't, but maybe not, you know, like they should have been. They're going to really, really shower with love and affection. Seven of Cups. So they're trying to figure this out. Definitely trying to figure this out. Page of Pentacles. There's an offer. Can we talk? Can we go out? Start over, perhaps, with the Fool. Eight of Pentacles. Putting in the work. Two of Pentacles. Again, a lot of up and down, back and forth. Definitely somebody walked away here. I think you sent them walking because you were very, very clear, blunt, direct to the point here with the Queen of Swords as well. And I kind of see, you know, taking the hand here, but being cautious, you know, holding on to that sword. So let's see, we have Libra, which we started with Libra right there. Aquarius and Capricorn. So... How are they like how are they gonna reach out to you? I wanna see maybe, you know, if we can get maybe like a time frame. How are they gonna do this? How are they gonna do this for Pisces? Five of Wands. Hmm. Two of Cups. You know what? I think they're just gonna come in and just approach you and then they know there may be an argument here, five of uh, wands, but they're willing to, it's like they're willing to fight, <laughs> fight for this now. So if that means they have to not fight you, but fight for you, fight for the connection, fight for love. I don't feel like it's against, I think they're going to stick it out. Like if there's an argument between the two of you, it's not about overpowering one another or arguing to win. It's just they want to argue their case. And I think they're going to fess up. You know, I think they're going to confess and fess up. And they know that you may yell at them and, you know, really. And, and I think they're going to really just take it. I think they're going to take it here. Six of one success and victory. They know they have to take it. Ten of cups in reverse. For this to be successful, they have to take it. Otherwise, you know, the ten of cups is in reverse. Just saying here. The wheel of fortune, that's how it's going to move forward is to get through how we're feeling about this, not happy about this, why? So they they want to know, they want you, it's like they want you to yell and scream at them and tell them why, it, you know, especially, I, I feel like you did set, set boundaries, but maybe you didn't say everything you wanted to say. So they're like, they want to hear it all. They want to know why you felt that way, what made you feel that way, um, what can they, you know, what can they do better? You know what I mean? They just, they just want to know everything. And if that means having to sit there and get yelled at or whatever, they're willing to do that. Because then I see this moving forward with the Wheel of Fortune. They know this is the only thing that's going to move this forward. And not for you to, like, belittle them and, you know, just for you to get off your chest everything. They want to hear it. And Wheel of Fortune, so they know this will help move this forward. Wheel of Fortune, so fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better, moving in the right direction. Divine timing, so is about bringing, you know, everything together at the right time. So we do have Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. The Empress in reverse, yeah. They know you are not happy, not in a good place, and they know that. Knight of Pentacles, so they're ready to stop slow walking this, and they're ready to face the music. That's what I feel here. They're ready to face the music, and they're going to take it. You know, all that unhappy energy with the sun in reverse. Queen of Wands. So they're ready to take on the fire. So they may be seeing here that maybe you're ready to spit some fire. Judgment here. So, you know, a lot of reviewing to do here. Relationship review, you know, love review, relationship review, everything here. Forgiving, healing, releasing. And, you know, making final judgment calls here. Call to action. So let's see. We have Scorpio. Leo, Taurus, and Libra Taurus. So I want to see, like, um, what are they going to say to you? And I want to get some love messages at the end here. But like what are they going to say to you? Now, I do uh, have a two here. So I, I did ask for time markers. Two is a three is a time markers. This could be two weeks, two months. 
right, so what would they say? What do they want to say? Or what are they going to say? Possibly here to Pisces. Let's see. Knight of Wands. King of Cups. Hmm, interesting, all right. The Devil. Wow, okay. King of Wands. So we did have that Queen of Wands up, right? We got the King of Wands. The Nine of Cups. So what they're going to say here is that they had to fight a lot of toxic energy here. The Devil. They did have a lot of love and emotions. Sometimes the King of Cups does hold it back. That's you, Pisces, for you. But they know they were very withholding, very toxic energy within them, probably from childhood. You know, feeling like the wounded warrior here. They've been through a lot and they know they wounded you because of their own issues here in the King of Wands. So they definitely were hiding behind things, not wanting to face them. But the King of Wands here definitely does face what he has to face. It's like they're keeping, you know, the seat warm for you because they want you, they want that seat for you. In Nine of Cups, you make them happy. You know, happiness, joy, wish fulfillment. You are their wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. King of Wands. So they know they have to come with, like fire and passion to meet your fire and passion, love and emotions to meet your love and emotions. So they know they have to give back equally here. So we have, yep, yeah, they want to wipe the slate clean, start over here with the Fool. Four of Cups, I don't want to hold back anymore. The Tower, this has been probably a long time coming, the Tower in reverse. But they may propose, I don't know, we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. This could be a long term commitment of some kind. So let's see, we have um, Aries, Aquarius, Leo, Capricorn, Pisces there. So Pisces, now what I want to do is get some love messages and see what exactly they want to say to you. Let's get more. And everything you need to know, Pisces, is down below. Your playlist is down there. A list of readings I do here. My other smaller channel, you can check that out right now. I have a new series going out, Health, Wealth, Destiny. Uh, you can check that out. Look at your overall health, your wealth, money, career, destiny, what's in the immediate future. And then I pull a few messages from Spirit. And I'll probably be doing like a, another monthly general. I do about two readings over there a month. If you want to check that out, link is below. All right, so what do they want to say? Two. These cards are very small. Well, let's see. I feel we are soulmates. Wow. So they definitely feel this connection. You are not available to connect right now. Yeah, so they definitely feel you at a distance. That is for sure. But they definitely feel that you're soulmates. You do not feel good enough right now. Yeah, so that's why they acted the way they did. They didn't feel good enough. So maybe they just need a little bit more time here. You have my heart. Wow. You have their heart. I am sending you messages and signs. So you could be receiving messages and signs from this person. And I wish I could hug you right now. We did have that two of cups there on the bottom of the deck. We have, we are forever connected. All right, Pisces, so I think they're going to be showering you with lots and lots of love and affection right right after you get past this kind of like face, <coughs> sorry, face to face that really, really needs to happen here. And they're going to take it. They know they're going to take it. They have to. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped. That resonated. Everything you need to know is down below. Wishing you the best and I shall see you next time. And happy birthday.